I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with Janice Lee, and Experience Edge is something that uh, we've been talking about here. Uh, we, I, I just was in a session with the uh, folks from the Ryder Cup, mm -hmm. and can you talk a little bit about what Experience Edge is and how it provides uh, a better experience for something like the Ryder Cup? Yeah, so when we talk about the edge, um, we refer to it as not you know a single place uh, in the network. In fact, we refer to it as a space at large where you know we as people are, where we go as employees to the workplace, where we shop you know as consumers, where we visit as hotel guests or you know even as patients in hospitals. So the edge itself is you know uh, all those different places. The reason why we talk about the experience edge is because in all of those places, it's all about the experience for us, right? Yep. And that's what we're designing for, which is how do we uh, take the best of all of the mobile IoT and cloud technologies and bring them together to create those amazing experiences that you know are personalized, they're timely and they're relevant for us, and IoT has a, a role in that. IoT is there to augment our experiences. So how does it do that? So the way that it does that is first, you know, things have to come online in order for it to become a part of the experience because the experience is about bridging the things we want to do in the digital world. Typically it's what we do on our, you know, mobile phones or yep. our laptops, right? Um, with the, the place that we are in the physical world. So wherever we are, we want to be digitally connected. And so the technologies that we put to work to do that are obviously mobile, which is give people access to the network, to the apps, no matter where they are on whatever device they need to be or want to be on. But also leverage you know, all of the things that are coming online to create the personalized you know, experiences that we sort of all come to expect nowadays. How do you how do you balance kind of the line between personalized and maybe a little bit creepy? Well, you know, I, I think we're in a place where people are, are very used to the, the give to get model, which is if I give you a little bit of information about myself, I expect some value in return. And that value needs to be contextual. It can't be, you know, sort of creepy value where you know, all of a sudden, you know, Google knows everything that I've done today and they know every meeting I have in my calendar. It's not that kind of value. It's kind of like, hey, you know that I like to go to these places, you know, once a week or once a month. And when I do show up there, you know, give me something of interest, right? Give me a promotion that sort of aligns with the, you know, the things I'm looking for or give me, you know, um, venue relevant data so that I could find my way around easier, right? It's more that low involvement type of context that doesn't sort of cross the line of creeping people out. So what's an example of something in a venue where, where you've enhanced the experience because of what uh, Aruba can do? You know, probably the example that resonates with all of us if we, you know, have a place of work that we go to is what we refer to as a smart digital workplace. And so the common experience the common bad experience that most of us have in a workplace is, you know, when you're trying to find a conference room because you want to have an ad hoc meeting, you know, typically it's like, okay, you go into Outlook, you see what rooms might or be available, or you go hunting, you go room hunting, right, from room, room to room. And by the time you find a room that doesn't look like it's occupied, you then have to go and double check to see, is this, is this meeting room scheduled? If it's not, let me schedule it, so then I have to book it, and oh, now I have to bring in somebody you know, over Skype for business, and now I have to schedule a meeting, then I have to get the telephone system dialed in, and then I have to get my laptop online so I can sh screen share. That whole process takes probably 15 to 20 minutes, I was right? saying, you've cut into like half of a half, uh, half hour meeting. Exactly, exactly. Now, in a smart digital workplace, all of that is automated, and we refer to that as user-aware conferencing. So that if I'm walking around, you know, with my mobile device, my laptop, my phone, you sort of know it's me and I can use an app that tells me which rooms are available and where are they. Yep. And the minute I walk in, it can automatically dial into my personal bridge, right? Set up a meeting and an auto book in an Outlook so I don't have to do it myself. And all I have to do is just start sharing. So it shaves the 15 to 20 minutes down 
to perhaps one minute. Those are the types of experiences that you know really excite people because imagine if you have 10 people in a meeting, if it takes you 15 or 20 minutes to get the meeting started, just imagine how much value is lost. That's a lot, that's a lot that of wasted productivity. Process. Yeah, yeah. So, so what makes Aruba the, like one of the, the leaders in this, in this particular space? Because I don't hear a lot of other companies mm talking about this kind of experience edge in the same way. Yeah, well, you know, we started as a, a, a Wi-Fi company, right? Yep. And we were known for just driving that mobile first type of experience where, you know, all, ultimately we believe that, first of all, every user is mobile, right? Um, and even as things come online, a lot of it is connected wirelessly because it's just saves you money. You don't have to run cable, yep. right? Even if the thing doesn't move, it's still wireless in a lot of cases. So we started there and it was on behalf of users and what they wanted, they wanted freedom. They wanted to bring their own device. But from mobility now, you know, is a sort of a new phenomenon with the advent of IoT and those things coming online to augment our experiences. And so we're designing for enhancing a mobile experience with an augmented experience as things in our environment get connected, like the smart building, the smart conference room. And so it's just a natural extension for us, but it's ultimately all about the experience. First it was a mobile experience. Yep. Now it's an IoT enabled experience. And ultimately, you know, when we can employ enough AI and we can collect all of the data coming off of, you know, the digital interactions that we have and the things being connected, it becomes intelligent experiences. Intelligent experiences, I like that. Thank you. Yep, my pleasure. <laughs>